Because if we create that energy, then that is kind of a helpful channel for hellish person or evil spirit to manifest themselves. If we create a merciful, compassionate energy, then that is the kind of invitation for good beings to come into our world, even to be born into our world as human beings to help us. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. This episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Our Luxes, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Very glad to meet you. The Supreme Master is Shanglian, from the mysterious Feng. Fungu 宗教和生活奉食使空教和道教的发源体将慈进城列为世界文化遗产庆海无上师祝他平安和孤露娜娜克
，侵害无上时，慈悲为怀，是非凡的在世典范。精诚远处难民、借牛、灾民和需要帮助的人，给予物质和经济援助，以爱心抚慰他们。二零零六年，他获颁故事和平奖，此奖等同东方的诺贝尔和平奖。他卓越的人道善行，多年来获颁无数奖项，获得世人无数赞誉。他努力为动物发声。提倡和平爱心的慈母意识，他更许下愿景，希望人类领悟奉上皆神圣，缔造和平辉煌的纯属世界，动物和人类共存共荣。他以各方方式倡导纯属生活，例如弘法传达。你也可以宣介这样的生活，海鲜、爱家、国际连锁纯素餐厅、福盛市电视台。他还经常呼吁政府和媒体领袖，并参加气候变迁视讯会议。无论世人是否境界，其努力影响世人之举，唤醒人们。宣介善待动物的生活，并奉行慈悲之道，天下才能永久太平，救地球免于气候变迁。青海无上师，多年来不计遍布全球，从美国到非洲，欧洲到大洋洲，对大风和他的徒弟。仅仅开始数百层，禅师各种灵性菩提，今天有幸为你播布《奇峰一程》睿智开始。师徒之间节目，青海无上师的宇宙高境界之类，六奇之五，青海无上师与无上师电视台工作人员电话会议。二零一三年六月十六日，以英语开始于美国加州洛杉矶。Master, how do we avoid bad karmic influences? I just try to mind your own business and、uh, recite,、yes. you know, use the protection that、uh, I teach you at the time of initiation. Focus on positive thinking and、uh, remember God. Okay. Yes. Praying. Yes. Meditating. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master,、uh, did your marriage to a, a German doctor in the past bring blessings to the country of Germany? You think it does? <laughs> well, we see that、um, Germany is prosperous and strong, whereas the the other European countries' economies are in recession. Germany has the lowest、uh, unemployment rate in Europe, and、uh, it's the fourth largest economy in the whole world. So it's very prosperous. Yeah, and it's powerful, eh? Yeah, yeah. it is. It does have some effect. Yes. Wow. Yeah, but don't tell anybody that all the country men want to come marry me. Huh? <laughs> 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 I don't have time. Yeah, it's not just marrying only, but it. The way that country people treat me, treat the master. Wow, I see. So、um, I can see、uh, maybe observably, Taiwan is good, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Vietnam has、uh, become good. Yes. yes. England, yes. yeah. UK also strong, powerful.、Uh, America, yeah, strong、yes. and powerful. Of course, it has some karmic payback, but、uh, you know, overall, it's like that. Understand. Yeah, even Costa Rica, not a very rich country, but it's very peaceful and and、uh, stable. Yeah, I've been there for a long time.、Eh? I have a house there. I have a piece of land there. <laughs> Still have, and it become a center of meditation. 
For example, eh? yeah. yeah. Master, how come before yeah. before you never publicly stated who you are beyond being a spiritual master, but now you are allowing the public to know about your identity and your experiences? Um, aren't you afraid of people knowing who you are? Uh, the one already know, then already know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, like you guys know already, so I I I think I'm also having uh, obligation to share with you my uh, experience, yeah? My finding, yeah? Okay? So that you know, or not? <laughs> yes, thank you very much for that, Master. Yeah. I also, I realized that somehow that if you tell the truth, people, you know, the people who believe you, of course, they believe already anyway. And other people, they don't believe you anyway when you tell the truth, so why worry? <laughs> yeah? Yes, <laughs> uh, one time I went to a country, go through the custom, The immigration officer asked me, what for you are in my country? Uh, is it for business? I said, no. Is it for pleasure? I said, oh, more or less. I said, what kind of pleasure? <laughs> he asked, what kind of pleasure? I said, oh, I come to bless your country. And he laughed it all very loud. <laughs> And he said, yeah, yeah, thank you. You know, like sarcastically. So I also laughed and I said, you're welcome. <laughs> very funny, Master. Yeah, when you tell the truth, people don't believe anyway, so I might as well tell it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah? Master. But don't worry, I will not tell my plumber that I am so and so, you know? Yeah. When he comes to fix the pipe in my kitchen, he will see me as just a, a humble old woman wowing at all his miracles of <laughs> fixing my stuff <laughs> and being generous to him, making cakes for him or giving him gifts or a generous tip. That's all he knows. Okay? Yes, master. Yeah, but the people who are uh, next to me don't ever know anything. I see. The people know me, or people see me on the street or in restaurant or taxi driver, plumber, electrician, they know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I will not tell my plumber or my electrician, okay? okay <laughs> <laughs> I keep myself safe, very safe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, last time we broke, the car broke on the highway, the police came and all that. It is all officer, thank you so much for coming. They don't ask too much. They just help me out quick to fix the car, to bring the car to the garage. Master, we are so glad that you are taking care um, so that you can be safe first and continue your mission as peacefully as possible. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Yeah, so not everybody really know who I am. Don't worry, okay? Yeah. <laughs> If they know, then good for them. Huh? But I don't say it deliberately so that people know who I am. It's just nowadays, you can't keep secret. I mean, I do as much as I can with my plumber, for example. But uh, nowadays, even as I am speaking to you right now, I'm not sure how many people are listening, you know? Nowadays, hacking and fighting is the normal things in the world. Now you remind me, I think somebody is listening to us. Mm. <laughs> Hello well. there, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Be blessed, beloved, <laughs> and enjoy our conversation. <laughs> Your conversation with us are always enjoyable. Thank you, Master. <laughs> yeah, anything else? Yes, Master. Master, whenever you re reveal a new secret of the universe, does that help our world in a particular way? Uh, maybe it makes people happy. You know, like you, like yes. you guys. Happy. Yes, Master. Yeah. And when you're happy, you create a good uh, energy wave pattern and you spread out in the world. And If people know, then they're more happy too. Huh? The other disciples, other followers, believers, if they know it, they're happy. And when you are happy, of course, you attract uh, uh, luck and happiness uh, energy into the world. And that brings more peace, more uh, prosperity, and everything is more beneficial and more uh, positive into the world, of course. Huh? Yes, yes, Master. Master, do you have to negotiate with heaven, heaven so that you can share the divine information? Yes, yes, I do. Ah. Uh, also, you know, as a courtesy, yeah? You have to say, okay, I'm going to let my disciples know this and that. 
And would that be too much problem or not? We have to consider whether it's harmful or good. In this kind of thing, it's not just like negotiation. It's a kind of a friendly discussion, huh? Yes. And a consideration. It's like a meeting with friends to discuss what we can do and what we cannot. What is good and what is not beneficial. That's all, okay? Yes, Master. yes, Master, I understand. And of course, if I review something, of course, I will have to pay for it. That's that. Oh. <laughs> That's normal from beginning already. That is just like uh, taking for granted. It's like that. Yes, Master. Master, um, last conference, Master mentioned that initiations can cost Master a lot physically, mentally, and spiritually. And after the conference in April, we heard that there were to be no more initiations for a while. So we're wondering, could something serious have happened to Master that you needed to hold initiations? And is Master okay? Yeah, I almost died the other day. Huh? <laughs> and other things happened. Uh, it's not only that, but uh, I was thinking the people who are initiated, the, the old initiated, really should really consider their status, their luck, and to be serious uh, practitioners, more wholesome, more saintly, more selfless. Not just go out and distribute charity to the disaster people the way I told them to or instructed them to, but have to be inside and really compassionate and holy and noble. Not just always asking for blessing from heaven or from the master and initiate and then please uh, heal me this, uh, please uh, uh, marry my daughter, please uh, <laughs> find my ugly son a wife, nothing like that. I use in my photo for healing people and all that kind of thing. I was really uh, thinking this group of people has to be more noble, has to think of a higher purpose, like want to know God, want to know yourself, want to become a saint, to benefit others, not just thinking of benefit yourself, especially material things. Or like wanting to have my socks or my hat for blessing power or whatever it is. I really feel very uh, discouraged by that. So I was needing a little bit of time to digest all that too. And I just want them to reconsider also during that time that uh, maybe I should better be more serious, okay? More wholesome. Yes, yeah. yes Master. The new one and the old one alike. But I allow initiation again already. Oh, thank you, thank you Master. Uh, and after that, my car busted on the highway. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yes, tell me. Master, when we heard that announcement, we were worried and we prayed that you are well and safe physically. And now we're very happy and surprised and overjoyed to hear from you again. So thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, you deserve it. You're a good kid. Yeah. <laughs> It's easier to talk to you if you want something, it's easier because it's uh, more convenient to talk to you than to tell other centers, to talk to them is more difficult. They have to organize, they have to uh, gather people, not all that convenient. And by the time they gather people, maybe I'm not in that position to talk to them already. See what I mean? Yes, Master. Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. You deserve it. Good kid. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Master, is the time right yet for you to reveal when we'll have World Vegan, World Peace? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, when it's there, then you know, okay? Yes, Easy. Master. We'll yeah. wait. <laughs> My God, there could be peace right now, and it could be uh, vegan right now already. Really, I Master? I got so much power for them, but just don't use it. Oh. They, as in the people of this world? Yes. Because of uh, immediate profit, because of uh, habit, because of uh, uh, misleading direction, and all these people just uh, affecting each other. Oh. Otherwise, they could begin a vegan diet already uh, some months ago, and they continue for hundreds of years. 
and continue after that. If if they continue, I would even uh, feed them more power to do so. Yeah, because people have this free will, and the mind is very hard. The ego and the mind is very hard. And the people they think that they have to earn a living and have to earn profit and all that. So uh, they they uh, turn their blind eyes to everything that they know is good. Yes, Master. So, Master, um, you described in the previous conference about Maya's obstructions to your mission. And so, are there any rules of engagement in the spiritual realm that the good and evil forces must abide by? And if so, what are some of those rules or laws? Oh, the rules apply to individuals, yes, but don't apply to the masters too much. Oh. For example, Jesus, he was virtuous and holy and pure and saintly and good, but he was still male and killed because of disciples, because of the bad karma of the people in his lifetime. So, because the master take on the, the mission of saving the world, saving the people and the world also, by the way, uh, the master has to be responsible for the world's ills and good. That's why the karmic law can also apply to the master even though he doesn't do what is bad. Yeah, he doesn't do anything bad. It still applies to him because he takes on the bad karma of his people. Just like any leader takes responsibility for his underling or the parents are also responsible for the children. Even adopted children, okay? Understand. Thank you, Master. Yeah. Master, you've told us before how there are angels and then there are gods and goddesses who are even more powerful than the angels. So do the hell beings also have different degrees of power? Oh, they do. They do. They do because uh, the karmic uh, pattern of the world affects the master, and they are also allowed to attack sometimes the master physical, emotional, or mental. Or they attack the assistant, you know, the one nearby, and then that person will disturb the master. If they cannot attack the master, they make trouble for the one nearby. So it's indirect effect. Yeah? Yes, master. What are some of the worst things that the most powerful hell beings could do in this physical realm to humans and to master? Uh, what's the worst thing they can do? <laughs> I can't remember too many. It's just constant and we got used to it. Try to change if I can or just endure it until it passes. I don't know what is the worst. Actually, I told you already, it could be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. Mm. Once it's gone, I, I don't try to remember much anymore, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, master. <laughs> um, master, the hellish beings, are they able to do anything to humans? Of course they do. They're trying all the time. Wow. Whenever they can get out of hell or they sense up, or they always influence other people to, to do bad things or to even like addicted people, the alcohol, once you try alcohol and then the other uh, invisible or hell being will come near you and try to enjoy through you. And then you drink more and more and then you get more addicted. Same with drugs or cigarettes or other things is, uh, which is are not good for you. Yes, Master. Or they cause a quarrel and disagreement between family members, between friends, and cause misunderstanding, trouble, you know, causing havoc and disaster. But it is also because of the mad karma of that individual, as well as the collective mad karma of the world, that gives them that power to do it. Gives them the ability to do this. Gives them the allowance to do it. But they also sometimes being punished. It depends on uh, whether they do it correctly or overdoing it or not. And the angels are also trying to prevent it. So there were two sides always like uh, fighting with each other. One tried to influence people bad and one tried to influence people good. 
Now, it is up to the individual, a group, to listen to their own conscience and to do always the right thing. But sometimes, as I told you, if they happen to be near the hellish uh, portal or road or near a big group of uh, hellish quality people, then they're also overwhelmed. And slowly and slowly and gradually going down with them. Master, what are ways humans can protect ourselves? Yeah, well, mostly people are vulnerable. But the people who have beliefs, even not initiated, but believe and pray often and believe in God power and angel power and try to do good things or at least not do any, any bad things, they are less vulnerable. They are more protected. Yes, Master. Yeah. Thank you for always protecting us and we pray that you're always protected, Master. You are special. <laughs> you're free so at the time of initiation, you're free. It's just some little give and take karma you have to undergo. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Uh, Master, how long can yes. the king of Maya or regular hellish beings manifest into a physical form like human or animal on Earth? Is it like uh, several hours or days or uh, it could be oh, a yeah. week? Differently, differently. Some more powerful, they could stay for weeks. And uh, some less powerful, they stay for, you know, some minutes or even seconds or days, hours, depends, yeah? But uh, at the Hungarian retreat, I think I more or less tell you, no? Yes, Master. About how long uh, uh, each uh, uh, level of being can manifest into this world physically. I remember I have told that, so you listen to that again, okay? Yes, Master. Understood. Uh, Master, yeah. can heavenly or hellish beings manifest into a physical form as uh, often or frequently as they like, or is there a limit? Um, for example, maybe just uh, once a year, and, um, and do they have to wait a certain time between their manifestations? It depends on how powerful they are, okay? And also it depends on the karma of the world or the marriage of the people of the world, whether or not uh, they are allowed to manifest because of that. Because if we create bad energy, then that is kind of a helpful channel for hellish person or evil spirit to manifest themselves. If we create a merciful, compassionate energy, then that is a kind of invitation for good beings to come into our world, even to be born into our world as human beings to help us. But this world also is a mixed kind of salad, you know, so we always have some bad uh, spirit coming up and always some master or saintly people manifested or born into this world to help, to counterbalance it. Yes, Master. Um, master, if a hellish being uh, possesses a human, afterwards do they get exhausted and temporarily lose their power? Who? Oh, the hellish being lose power or a human? A hellish being, like how when a ghost gets depleted of energy when they come back out from possessing a human body? Yeah, it's, it's, it could be like that. But again, then it, it, it depends on that person's karmic connection with hell. Or uh, depends on the, the karmic pattern of that person, okay? And also depends on the power of that spirit, of that holy spirit. I see. And um, if it did affect the, the hellish being, what, what are some of the things that they could not do afterwards, after possessing someone as a result? I think they probably go to sleep, huh? Like you and I when we are exhausted, no? <laughs> take a rest, huh? They take a rest, no? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it the same case when a hellish being manifests in a physical form on this earth? Afterwards, do they lose energy? Yeah, yeah, they have to re recharge again. I see, I see. And after they manifest on this earth, do they still have enough power to immediately possess a human, or would they be too weak for that? No, oh, it depends on how much power they need or they have used. Depends on how exhausted they are, huh? Understand, understand. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Why occupy so much with the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talk about heaven, and now you jump down to hell. Okay, what else? Um, Master, are there any other rules that heaven or hellish beings must 
um, follow when they manifest themselves on earth? It's just the same like I, had, I told you, no? It depends on the karmic pattern of the people, good or bad. But the good heavenly beings, they are more free. They're more free to manifest in this world. It's just that what's the use of doing it when we don't listen? If they don't manifest in this world, it's because we don't listen, or we don't pray hard enough for their help, or we don't deserve it, yeah? I understand, Master. But the hell is, people, they, they can come if we are bad. Because we, if we are bad, we create bad energy. And bad energy is in the wavelength pattern as the hell is pattern. Light attract like, yeah. So if we want to attract more heavenly beings, then we have to be more heavenly like. That's logic.你好的观众感谢你观赏今天的师徒之间节目至细牛第一方呼吸